Hi guys, it's Jordan here from Artisan Electrics and today's video is all about replacing some old electric heaters with new economical uh, smart programmable electric heaters. So I had this customer who phoned me up and basically half of their electric heaters in their house were not working properly. Um, they'd been in there for about 20 years and they just wanted them all replacing. So what I've done is gone in, ripped out all the old heaters and put in these new heaters by a company called Elna. And I'm just going to show you a little walkthrough of the job. Interesting thing I had to do here was that the consumer unit had a kind of funny setup in it whereby all of the electric heaters could be switched on and off via a contactor via a room thermostat. So I've had to reconfigure that system to just be so all of the new heaters are just powered permanently and then they will click on and off with their own individual programs. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do hit a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already because I post videos here every week about the life of an electrician and electrical installation subjects. So I hope you enjoy and check out the video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Good morning guys, so let me show you what I'm up to today. So we've got an electric radiator heating system going on here. At the moment there's this central uh, programmer and thermostat which basically activates a contactor, which I'll show you down here. So we've got this consumer unit here which does all the electric heaters and there's a contactor which is basically activated by the um, thermostat and programmer at the moment. Uh, but what we're doing is getting rid of the existing heaters, which you can see behind me here, and putting in these new Gabarone or Elna um, more efficient electric radiators. So, and they've got kind of individual programming capabilities. So what we're gonna do is get rid of this central programming system and just set them all up so that they basically come on and off individually when they're needed. Um, the scrap guys have just turned up. I ripped one of these heaters out and basically these two Arabic chaps hopped out of the van, <laughs> knocked on the door and said, is this rubbish, is this rubbish? Um, so yeah, they've taken one of the heaters away already, which is quite good because that saved me a trip to the uh, tip but I've got five more of these to rip out and then I'm going to just dump them all outside. I told the guys to come back about three o'clock and then they can take the rest of them away. So that's quite handy, actually. I mean, I probably would have got a few quid of scrap metal for them, but uh, it's not worth my time to go over to the scrapyard and actually cash them in. So I'd rather just get them to take them away, to be honest. Um, these new ones are really easy to fit, actually. I'm quite impressed. I've fitted one of them already. I'll show you. I'll show you that. So just over here, um, there we go. So that's the first one in already. I ripped out the old one and as I said, they, they've already taken that away. So new one in and rocking and rolling. They come with like a, a tail of heat resistant cable as well coming out of them, which is quite good. Another thing that I've been doing is in here, I've put this underfloor heating thermostat in. There was an old one, which was just really ridiculously difficult to program. So I've just replaced it with this new one, which is one of those heat mat Wi-Fi ones. Um, really nice, just works. And they've asked me to just keep it on 20 degrees all the time, basically, so that it just ticks over. So yeah, it's working and that'll keep the cold off the floor for them. So I'm just going to get set up on the next one and get that up and running, which is this one in here. So we've got this one in the kitchen, replacing it with this 1000 watt one. Um, so I'm just going to rip this out and then put the new one in.
So I just want to show you this. One of the really cool things about these heaters is they've got these polystyrene bases that they're mounted on in the box just as packing material. But the way they've set it up is that when you lay it on the floor like that on the uh, polystyrene foot and then you put your bracket like that, it gives you the perfect mounting height. So you basically just pop the bracket in the top like that Mount your holes, make sure it's level. Do the same on this side. Mark it up. Take the heater away. Drill your holes, plug, and then it just hangs on the wall on the brackets at exactly the right height. I've just got my laser level going here just to make sure because obviously the floor might not be level if I just base it off that. So I just wanted to make sure that my holes were actually level. But yeah, it's really it makes it really easy and um neat to be able to mount them up and it's quite quick so quite pleased with that actually it's quite a clever little design absolutely love these Pika marker pens they're brilliant I've um, been using this for a while now and the great thing is that unlike a sharpie which just doesn't stay sharp for very long this thing the tip you can just pull it out cut the end off and turn it around flip it back in and then it's good as new so it lasts for ages and it's got you know it's a long hole marker because you've got this long thin bit so for marking these holes for the radiator, for example, it's just perfect, you know. Um, and even if something's got quite a long hole that you've got to get through, um, this works for most things. The only time you might not be able to reach, you'll need to use a marksman instead. But let me know in the comments what marker pens you use. Do you use a Sharpie? Do you use a Pika? Do you use something else? Let me know what you use. And I'll put a link for this in the description. Here's another question for you. Here's a question for you. Drilling tiles, what do you do? I'm just using a normal drill bit now and these tiles fortunately are really soft and easy to drill through. So it's no problem. What I do is I just drill it on without hammer. So just a normal drill setting and it works a treat. But let me know in the comments what you do. Do you use a normal drill bit or do you have special tile drill bits? If you've got a recommendation, love to know about it. Uh, I don't have any tile drill bits on the van at the moment. So if I come across a really hard set of tiles, I might have a little problem. So let me know in the comments how you drill tiles. I'd love to know. So there's a classic problem that happens often when doing consumer unit installs, which is to do with the buzz bar underneath. So basically what happens sometimes the teeth from the buzz bar go behind the um, terminals of the MCB rather than inside them. This is a problem partly because of the design of some MCBs and partly just um, because of the nature of the thing. So I'm going to show you a little trick on how to make sure that all the teeth of the buzz bar are actually in the terminals rather than behind them. And what I do is actually use my smartphone here. So I will just take it underneath. You can see the, the consumer unit here. Just take it underneath with a little light. 
and it's a bit blurry but you can see that is within the terminal that is within within uh, and that one's not you see there's the problem uh, that one is that one is that one just needs tightening up so what i need to do is redo this one uh, but it's so important to check this otherwise you create real bad fire hazards in the future because that will just be arcing it's not it's, it, it's still touching so the current will go through but it'll get hot and it could create a fire so i've tightened those up now and it's much better and you'll see underneath now that everything is securely within the terminals which is how it should be so that's good um, there is a little trick that you can do to tell if they're in or not if you don't got a, a phone like mine and that is simply just the the way it feels with the screwdriver if the terminal screw is biting into copper copper is a little bit soft and you'll feel that slight softness when you tighten it up whereas if it's just tightening on itself it'll be quite hard um, so that's one way to tell but really the best way is to check visually that's really important so what I've done here is I've removed this old contactor which was in there basically there was like a 40 amp circuit feeding through the contactor and then a control circuit and then all of these MCBs were being switched by this one contactor so a little bit of a funny way to do it but that's how they did it in order to just control all the electric heaters on and off with this thermostat but now I'm just getting rid of that that's redundant I've got these all permanently live and each individual heater then will have its own timing programming that will turn it on and off when it's needed. So these are the old ones that I've ripped out and hopefully the uh, foreign gentlemen are coming over to pick those up at some point. I'm sure they'll get a few quid for them. Uh, I did miss one in the bathroom for some reason upstairs, so I'm gonna have to get an extra one for that. And also I'm gonna have to get a extra one for the hallway upstairs because they want another one in the hallway so i've got two more to do and a few other bits to do as well they want me to come back and f do a few other jobs so uh, i'll be back here again but so far it's gone fairly well so let me know in the comments what you thought about that video have you done any installations similar would you have done it differently uh, i'd love to know all your thoughts in the comments and if you haven't checked it out already link in the description and the pin comment on this video is my amazon store where you can find all the tools that I like to use on a day-to-day -day basis, some of the test equipment that I like to use, and also check out my other channel, Tools for Sparks, where you can find videos specifically about electrical tools every single week. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, hit a like and subscribe to the channel for more great videos coming soon. Have a great day.